Hey everybody, it's me, Terry and Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play of The Secret of Shadow Ranch, one of my favorite Nancy Drew games. Um, last episode, we were able to do quite a few things. We opened up some chests, and we also were able to see the Phantom Horse. Um, right after we saw the Phantom Horse, the pump house um, exploded-ish with water shooting out the top, and so someone is trying to sabotage the ranch we don't exactly know why yet but um hopefully we can figure that out this episode uh so let's get on into here uh sure okay so here we go um let's see we yeah we just saw the phantom horse we still have these to do. Green bottle. Oh, we, we can go check out the pump house. Oh, and... Yeah. He's not over here. Uh, here it is. Okay, no trespassing, so let's try to call the sheriff. Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure, I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. Thanks really? for your help. Anytime. Okay. So he said we can go in there. I want to look. Looks like the pipe is pretty badly corroded. Oh. So could it just been a coincidence? Ooh. Ooh. Dave? Oh, there's Dave. Well, where did you come from? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you, but what are you doing? Well, see, I just, I mean, I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. What do you know about it? See, my great aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Mm. Francis was real smart, see? Loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after Valentine met his end, Francis was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, <laughs> Sheriff the Merrill half. Humber. There's something written on the back. Stairs to cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message Green got bottle. torn off. I was hoping under that the treasure might be under the cellar. stairs in here, but no such luck. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... It is their property. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear, soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. Mm. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. Okay. No, wait, you don't have to leave. 
So we have green bottle under surge to cellar. Ooh. Something's missing. Hmm. Uh, acid. Wonder what somebody's been using that for. Could acid be used to corrode? I think it could. Okay. Well, these are the only stairs that I've s actually. Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these stairs. Uh, oh. Well, this is Francis. Number. Okay, so. Where do I gotta get it to, though? The question. There's gotta be, like, some kind of, um... Uh... Like, that I can, like, move... Or a hole... Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> words. Okay. A hole of some sort to get that out. Okay, so that can move over. Um, uh, I want to move. I just don't know where I'm trying to get that. Um. Do, 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 do. Those can't move over. Yeah, I haven't even moved that yet. Um, Is that the only stair? Yeah. Okay. If I was able to... that over and then that up and then these over here because that doesn't help that at all oh maybe okay oh I just need to barely move it 
Okay. There's something inside. I am glad that you are getting your picture painted wearing your favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Meet me on Friday at noon by the Big Picture Rock. I love you, Dirk. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he orders special from California and you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them and I bought you four tins. I also bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the Three Arm Cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you, Dirk. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate. And the prettiest, too, what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake recipe in the world, too. But nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think mm. of you. I only steal from people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed, but if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. It had lots of things pertaining to flowers. Which is interesting. So there's the handbag that I just picked up. Looks like I'm back in the den. This one. Okay, so I think what we need to do is we need to go talk to Tex to see if we could go horseback riding. But I think he's probably gonna give me chores. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one would ever find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered like. Are you and your sister very close? Nope. Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flake. I'd have probably fired her too. Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit, or the pump house blowing up. Plus, that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Mm. Figures. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. nope. Go see if Shorty's got any chores okay. that need doing first. I hate hearing him whine about how overworked he is. Talk to you later. No hurry. Okay. Let's go get some chores done. Where is he? Mineral deposits? Hmm. Can I help you find something? Oh, there's a no, number down actually, there. actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long-lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get-rich-quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. Or silver, or copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Okay, let's ask him some what questions. What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid around here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? 
What do you know about it? I just heard about it, that's all. When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her, just to mm. give people something to talk about when he was gone. Have you ever met Mary Yazzie? Course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Raleigh's comes up. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Raleigh's? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. Most people think I'm too nosy. You're not nosy. Me neither. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, nobody, really. <laughs> Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. Uh. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't uh. that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? You really think what happened to the pump house was the result of bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine banshee. Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, okay. and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Baskets outside. So I did make a list of the ripe stuff. So I know what they're supposed to look like from last time. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so do what I did yesterday. Minus the fire stuff, probably. Let's see if I can do a better job this time. Romana, bunches of three, not dry or wilted. Uh, old ivory eggs, golden in color. Northern lights, multicolored red and gold. Beef steaks are red. The golden queen is a yellow orange. And these ones are dry. Let's see how I did. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. Hmm. There is? Maybe one more, um, of the green beans? Now I pick- oh, that one's hiding. Is that an ivory egg? It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. Now, yeah. you just fill that egg basket for me again. <laughs> we'll be all set. Okay. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. That way. Okay. Get me some eggs. Two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, let's see if that's enough. If not, we have to wait for the cray cray chicken to leave. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Kay. I need you to do one more thing. It's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, he might actually appreciate it. Hmm. So why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't okay. care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The icing's already made. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by well, any time. Since I don't know what to do yet, out on the road, let's make a cake. We have vine vinegar pie? Oh, Shadow Ranch Cake. Okay, let's write this down. One cup butter. Uh, two eggs. One and two thirds cup milk. Four cups flour. One tablespoon baking powder. 
two and one third cup sugar and three teaspoons of vanilla. A look by Francis Humber. Not complete without icing and my favorite marzipan flour. Oh, so that's one of the flowers, marzipan flour? First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. Okay. So butter, we need one cup and one stick is one half a cup. So we need two of these. I'll like mark how many of each. We need two eggs. One. Two eggs. Milk. We have a... Th one and two thirds. So three equals one cup. Plus two. So equals five. So we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five, four cups of flour. Shoot, what's a pint? I think a pint is two cups. So I think I need two of these. Baking powder. Um, I know that three teaspoons goes into one tablespoon. So three of these. Sugar. Two and one thirds. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. So three plus three plus one equals seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then three teaspoons of vanilla. That's just one tablespoon. All right. Pretty sure. Okay. Bake. I'm gonna do this one. Uh, we're gonna bake on. Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long it took for it and what 30 minutes. Use. It's not cooked all the way through. I better bake it some more. Okay. Uh, low for 15. It's not cooked all the way through. I better bake it some more. Low for 15. I want to overcook it. Through. I better bake it some more. Nuts, I burned it. Well, back to the drawing board. Let's see if we can figure out what a pint is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just have my stand here and so it gets in the way. Uh, we need to figure out what a pint is. Two pints, one quart, four cups equals two pints, but that's liquid. And it wasn't liquid, right?
Okay, so this says six tablespoons equals one quart. And one quart equals two pints. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Four cups equals one quart. One quart. So if one, four cups equals one quart and we need four cups to equal one pint. And two pints goes into one quart. Yeah, so two pints is equal to four cups. So actually, I think the f we just need one of these, maybe. Was that two pints? I don't know. Ah! Okay, that is all we have time for today though. So we are going to finish baking the cake next time. Hopefully we can figure out the temperature. I'm thinking medium for 45 minutes, maybe? I don't know. We shall keep trying, but at least I've got all the numbers, I believe, down. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Have courage and be kind, and we shall see you all next time. Bye.